on the day that you buy, say a piece of real estate, you can kind of estimate your current rental housing demand versus supply now and just a few years into the future. But what if you invested in a real estate type where you could better forecast the supply versus demand fundamental for decades? As an investor, you don't want to lose sight of key fundamentals. You want to invest in a market, say if you're buying real estate, where housing demand meets or exceeds supply. That's just economics 101. Hi, I'm Keith Weinhold and I'm a writer for Forbes. On the day that you buy, say a piece of real estate, you can kind of estimate your current rental housing demand versus supply now and just a few years into the future. But what if you invested in a real estate type where you could better forecast the supply versus demand fundamental for decades? Well, I think that you actually can. Look, the world's population is expected to continue to swell from 7.5 billion people to 8.5 billion people in just the next 12 years to 9.7 billion by 2050 and 11.2 billion by the year 2100. And while there are more mouths to feed, the world has lost a third of its arable land in just the last 40 years. In fact, the famed economist and investor Jim Rogers says agriculture is going to be the next big thing over the next 20 years. Well, since 2014, I've been investing directly in both coffee and cacao agriculture. Cacao is the base product for chocolate. And I've been doing it this way, by purchasing half acre parcels at a time with the parcels individually titled to me for about $25,000 each. And there's no Wall Street dilution here. You own these things and it produces an annual cash flow from the crop harvest. Cash flow starts slowly while the young crops mature. And it's all turnkey managed by a trusted, highly professional team, which is so key. They do it all. The crop growth, the harvest, the processing, and the sale, all done for you. And the team adds value through professional agronomy and soil science. And it's done in an environmentally responsible way. And a lot of attention, too, is paid to making the conditions better for the farm laborers than where they had worked previously. Now, just personally, my land has actually appreciated 13% per annum since I've owned it, and that's in addition to the annual cash flows. And now, I don't really expect the same appreciation rate to continue. I got in fairly early. I wouldn't expect that rate to keep up. And I have walked my exact parcels that I own with deeds individually titled to me because the company offers regular tours and the provider there is very transparent and visible and communicative and I can't legally endorse this investment. This is merely my experience. I just always get asked about this on other talk shows that I go on so I thought I'd make a video about it to tell you more. You can learn more and get a coffee farm investing report at getricheducation.com coffee or getricheducation.com slash cacao for the cacao parcels. And I have toured my own coffee parcels a few years ago. And then last year, I made a trip to Belize where I toured the cacao parcels. And I've also discussed the investment and my tours with the provider right on my podcast the Get Rich Education podcast. So although residential real estate investing is still probably my favorite comparatively, this agricultural real estate, it has more predictable cash flows than residential does. There's just no such thing as tenant vacancy. There's no such thing as tenant damage to units. The trees just show up every day and they know what to do and they're quiet. I would say that there is lower market risk. The trees don't know whether the S&P 500 was up or down. There's land appreciation potential like I described and that low cost of entry for investors, about 25K or less per half parcel. And you can either use cash or Americans are often eligible to use IRA funds. So yes, I've actually drank coffee with beans grown on my very own 
cash flowing coffee tree parcels. Gosh, isn't that amazing? That's what I thought. <laughs> you could do that too. And well, how big are the projected cash flows and what are the risks? I really encourage you to learn more by grabbing one or both of these really colorful provider reports about receiving cash flow from agriculture yourself at getricheducation.com slash coffee or getricheducation.com slash chocolate. Again, I'm Keith Weinhold. Thanks so much for stopping by.